The 2010s were perhaps one of the greatest decades in television. So we decided for fun to come up with a personal list of our favorite scripted TV shows or limited series from the years 2010 through 2019. Our primary rule was that the TV series must have broadcast a majority of its episodes in the 2010s. With that criteria, we came up with a list of nearly 40 shows. To trim that list down to 20, we'll be using the average audience score on Rotten Tomatoes to count down the top 20 TV shows of the 2010s. With that out of the way, let's get started. Number 20. Sons of Anarchy is a crime drama that follows the outlaw motorcycle club Sam Crow in the fictional town of Charming, California. It was broadcast on the FX network for seven seasons from 2008 through 2014. The show stars Charlie Hunnam as Jax Teller, who struggles to balance family issues and involvement in a motorcycle club trying to protect the town from rival gangs. Number 19. Stranger Things is a science fiction horror created by the Duffer Brothers that premiered on Netflix in 2016. It's set in the early 1980s in the fictional town of Hawkins, Indiana. The show follows a group of people as they deal with supernatural forces. Three seasons are available now and has been renewed for a fourth. No release date has been announced yet. Number 18. Longmire is a modern Western crime drama that was broadcast on the A&E Network for its first three seasons. When canceled by A&E, Netflix picked it up for seasons four through six. The lead is played by Australian actor Robert Taylor as Walt Longmire, who is a sheriff in Wyoming investigating crimes while also coping with the death of his wife. Number 17. Halting Catch Fire is an AMC drama which aired for four seasons from 2014 through 2017. Spanning more than 10 years, it follows a group of renegade techies, beginning with the personal computer revolution of the 1980s to the growth of the World Wide Web of the early 90s. Number 16. Person of Interest is a science fiction crime drama on the CBS network with five seasons broadcast from 2011 through 2016. It's about a former CIA agent and wealthy programmer who team up to stop crimes before they happen. Since the show went off the air, the fiction in the show is becoming more of a reality. With the pervasive surveillance tactics of our governments and invasive nature of our corporations, odds are more likely than ever that you are being watched. Number 15. Broadchurch is a British serial crime drama that was originally broadcast on ITV in the UK from 2013 through 2017. The show follows a pair of detectives, played by David Tennant and Olivia Coleman, as they solve crimes in a small coastal community. All three seasons are now available to binge watch on Netflix. Number 14. Fargo is a dark comedy crime drama on the FX network that premiered in 2014. It's inspired by the 1996 Coen Brothers film of the same name. Each season features an all-new storyline set in the Dakotas and Minnesota with a colorful cast of eccentric characters. Three seasons have already been broadcast, with season four expected sometime in 2020. Number 13. The Americans is yet another series on the FX network. It aired from 2013 through 2018 for six seasons. The spy thriller takes place during the Cold War in the 1980s. It follows two Russian KGB spies named Philip and Elizabeth Jennings living as an American couple with two kids in Washington, D.C. The show also focuses on their neighbor, Stan Beeman, who is an FBI agent working in counterintelligence. Number 12. Mr. Robot is a drama thriller on the USA Network that ran for four seasons from 2015 through 2019. Created by Sam Esmel, it stars Rami Malek, who plays an antisocial computer programmer and vigilante hacker. He's recruited by a group of hacktivists known as F Society to help bring down a corrupt corporation. Number 11. Narcos is a biographical crime drama on Netflix with three seasons available from 2015 through 2017. Set and filmed in Colombia, the show follows the exploits of drug kingpin Pablo Escobar for the first two seasons and the Cali Cartel in the third, along with their interactions with agents from the Drug Enforcement Administration. A spin-off series is now available on Netflix called Narcos Mexico, which is also worth watching. Number 10. 
Hannibal is a psychological horror thriller that was broadcast on NBC from 2013 through 2015 for three seasons. The show is centered on criminal profiler Will Graham, played by Hugh Dancy, and his relationship with Dr. Hannibal Lecter, played by Mads Mikkelsen. Season 1, truthfully, is not the greatest. The second and third seasons are fantastic. Here's some viewer advice. I would highly recommend not eating while watching this show. Number 9. Peaky Blinders is a British crime drama produced by the BBC. The story is set in England after World War I and follows the notorious Peaky Blinders gang led by their ambitious crime boss, Tommy Shelby. It premiered in 2013 and all five seasons are available on Netflix. Season six is not expected until at least early 2021. Number eight. Mindhunter is a Netflix original crime thriller. Its first season was released in 2017, with the second dropping in 2019. It's about two FBI agents and a psychologist who interview imprisoned serial killers to understand how they think, with the hope of using that knowledge to solve open cases. There's been no official word from Netflix if Mindhunter will be coming back for a third season. Number 7 Justified is a neo-western crime drama on the FX network. It was broadcast for six seasons from 2010 through 2015, and it's based on an Elmore Leonard short story. In the show, Timothy Oliphant portrays Raylan Givens, a no-nonsense U.S. Marshal in the coal mining town of Harlan, Kentucky. Number 6 Better Call Saul is a crime drama spin-off prequel of Breaking Bad. It premiered in 2015 on AMC and was created by Vince Gilligan and Peter Gould. Set in the early 2000s, it follows con man Jimmy McGill, played by Bob Odenkirk, as he transforms into ambulance chasing attorney Saul Goodman. Four seasons are available to watch right now, with season five premiering on February 23rd, 2020. Number five. Boardwalk Empire is a period crime drama on HBO. It premiered in 2010, with its fifth and final season ending in 2014. This series is set during the 1920s in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Steve Buscemi stars in the lead role as Nucky Thompson, a politician playing both sides of the law during the Prohibition era. Number 4 Mad Men is a drama on the AMC network that was broadcast for seven seasons from 2007 through 2015. Set primarily in the 1960s in New York City, the series is about a prestigious Madison Avenue ad agency, with Don Draper being played by John Hamm being the focus of the show. Number 3 Happy Valley is a show I'll bet most of you have never heard of. It's a BBC-produced crime drama which premiered in 2014. It follows a police sergeant who investigates drug cases in a community in northern England. The show excels due to its excellent writing and attention paid to character development. Two seasons are on Netflix right now, and has been renewed for a third season. At this point in the video, I'd normally go through the honorable mentions. Instead, for full disclosure, I'll just show you the others we had on our list of favorites with their corresponding average audience score. A few quick notes about this list before we move on. The Leftovers is an underrated show we enjoyed that deserved more viewers. Game of Thrones average audience score got completely eviscerated due to its abysmal final season. And for True Detective, the second and third seasons fell way short of expectations when compared with its amazing first season. Now let's head back to the countdown. Number 2 Chernobyl is a 2019 five-part miniseries on HBO that was produced in association with Sky UK. This historical drama covers the events of the largest nuclear disaster in Soviet history at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. The lead characters are played superbly by Jared Harris, Stellan Skarsgård, and Emily Watson. It received 19 nominations at the Emmy Awards and won for Outstanding Limited Series, Directing, and Writing. Number 1 Breaking Bad taking the top spot won't be a surprise for most of you. This crime drama on AMC was broadcast for five seasons from 2008 through 2013. It stars Brian Cranston as Walter White, a high school chemistry teacher in Albuquerque, New Mexico. After being diagnosed with cancer, he joins forces with former student Jesse Pinkman, played by Aaron Paul, to produce and sell meth to help secure his family's financial future before he dies. If you're a fan of Breaking Bad, a sequel film starring Aaron Paul called El Camino was released in October of 2019 on Netflix. 
Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see more videos like this from this channel. Let us know in the comments the TV shows you enjoyed the most in the 2010s. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date with the latest countdowns and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Umbo.